It's a busy Memorial Day weekend and I'm heading to Salt Lake City. Today I'm on Delta 2195 from Orange County to Salt Lake City. It's special as I'm flying in the Airbus A220 for the very first time as well. So join me on today's flight experience. Now that I'm checked in, let's head to the gate. It's mornings like this, I'm glad I have TSA pre-check. So far, Delta 2195 is on time and will depart from gate 4. This morning I'm flying on this Airbus A22300. The plane has a registration November 302 Delta Uniform. It's two years old and was delivered to Delta on October 10th, 2020. As it was a Bombardier CS series plane previously, you'll still see BCS as equipment on some sites. I was really surprised how many Delta planes are here. But man, what a diverse set this morning. Anyway, let's head back to the gate and get ready for boarding. I have no status with Delta, so I'm in the main cabin 2 boarding group. That means I board after the pre-boards, first class, the elites, the military, Comfort Plus and Main Cabin 1. So I think I board just before the cheap people flying in basic economy. Even though it doesn't look too big, your standard carry-on will fit inside the overhead storage. Service to Salt Lake City, Utah. Let's tumble into the shade to see my view for the next one hour and three minutes. Boarding door. You are on a cell phone call or video chat. We'll ask in just a few minutes to end this call to fix those devices into an airplane mode. Also, larger electronic devices such as a laptop. Laptops will also have to be stowed either under the seat bag or in the overhead bins for takeoff and landing. As you make your way down the cabin aisle, you have two carry-on items. We do ask that you take your second item, that is the smaller item, place it under the seat in front of you. That will help us to accommodate as many of the larger bags that we can on today's flight. If there is available bin space for right now as you're making your way down the cabin aisle, just utilize that overhead bin space rather than getting fully to your seat. That will help us to get um, out of here nice and early for you today on time departure. Delta has 88 seats in the main cabin in their A22300s. Seat width is pretty good at 18.6 inches or 47 centimeters, and the pitch is 31 to 33 inches with 79 to 84 centimeters being the conversion. There is a headrest, but I didn't adjust it, or raise it. We do have personal TV screens and internet. I'll show you what's available later. The TV screen is 10.1 inches and touch screen, no remote. Each seat has a USB plug and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Both are right below the TV screen and right above the tray. And if you feel uncomfortable plugging your device into a USB plug like I am now, there is one power outlet available that's shared between the two seats. Yeah. 
your standard size carry-on will fit in the bins above. So far, so good in my opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning from the flight deck. Uh, welcome aboard service over to Salt Lake City. We're ready to go up front, push back here in a few minutes. One hour, to 22 minutes, total time takeoff to touchdown. That'll get us to the gate uh, about 10 minutes early, maybe about 9.55 uh, or so in Salt Lake. Expect a smooth departure out of here. Maybe some few bumps getting into Salt Lake, uh, fairly standard uh, for this time of year. But we appreciate you waking up early this morning and joining us. Welcome aboard. The Earth is a beautiful place. There are so many natural wonders to discover. Some of us, you see. Some of us, you hear. Above the clouds and below. Use your electronic device in your seat. Please do not adjust your seat and ask a crew member for assistance. Please ensure all aisles, exits, and bulkhead areas are clear. As we leave the gate, make sure your seatbelt is fastened. To fasten, insert the metal tip into the buckle and adjust the strap so it's low and tight across your lap. If you're unfamiliar with the takeoff here from Orange County, it's kind of trippy. Due to the noise abatement and a 5,700 foot runway, we blast off basically at full power and climb pretty steep. The power is then reduced significantly before we end up powering back up and climbing to normal after clearing the city below. Our climb seemed pretty steep. However, I noticed it didn't seem as loud as previous experiences. I love this detailed moving map. It reminds me of what I see on my international flights on newer planes like the 787 or A350. I could definitely watch this the entire flight.
Now, let's check out the features of the Inflight TV. There's some movies to choose from. For a short flight like this, you probably won't be able to see a whole movie, so you'll want to watch something that you've seen before. There is live TV, and I'll definitely be watching ESPN. However, I noticed there aren't as many channels available as I find on, say, JetBlue. But there's a lot of choices here anyway. Here you can find the food and drink menu, which has a good selection, and we'll get a choice of snacks, as you'll see. Here are some games, should you want to play something or to try to stimulate your mind during the flight. of recline for economy seat seat if you were curious. Anyway, snack and beverage service is about to begin. We get a choice of three snacks, a cookie, pretzels, or what I ended up getting, the granola square, to go along with my own snack that I brought on board. I also ended up getting a water to drink. Now if you're old enough to remember, the 2-3 seating arrangement as you see here is very similar to that on the McDonnell Douglas MD-80, proudly built in Long Beach by the way. And of course, no trip report on Delta's A220 is complete without a stop in what is one of the most unique features of this plane. That's right, the restroom here on the A side of the plane, because this laboratory has the window seat next to the toilet. Let's wrap up this trip report. First, boarding out in Orange County was very orderly. The A220 is a fabulous plane to be in, even though I was in economy. I really hoped Delta would fly some A220s into Long Beach more often, up to say, Seattle? I love the large windows and how quiet the plane is. The entertainment seems pretty good, with plenty of choices. Those you know, I'm a moving map person. Temperature was good, not too hot, not too cold. I like the choice of snacks, though I wish the granola square was a little bigger. The flight attendants were really friendly and accommodating, even as I was loitering, waiting for the laboratory to open up. Their service was very efficient. And after the novelty wore off and I got my video and pictures, I probably won't wait to use that restroom if given the choice. I had a good experience on Delta's A220 overall and look forward to flying it again if given the chance. With that, enjoy our landing into Salt Lake City.
Thanks for joining me today. Please support this video by leaving a comment and a like. Subscribe to my channel to see more. See you next time.